Hey everyone, okay, day two, the Competition Plus video blog. Um, here we are, man, it's Saturday. Big day today, it was sprinkling a little bit ago, so, uh, but not enough to wet the track. Uh, so I don't think anything's gonna be pushed back as far as our times. We run two runs today, four o'clock and eight o'clock. Tonight, the eight o'clock run is when we run the final of the Brainerd race. It's John Force and our team for the final round paired up tonight in Q3, which is the later run. We're hoping we get a run in today in the other lane, so we at least have, you know, have some data. Uh, as you can see, Tober's getting the car ready for the warm-up. He'll come out and he'll set the timers that he wants to check during the warm-up and put his timing map in the ignition box and just get everything ready for our first warm-up today. But once again, it's Indianapolis in the U.S. Nationals. Um, I guess I'll talk to you a little bit later today. Hopefully, uh, it's funny to wake up in the morning. And you know, when you wear something, you often wonder if you're gonna be videotaped or pictured wearing the same thing in another picture, like you don't have any other clothes. This is my uniform every day, thank God. But here we are, getting ready to warm it up. Cross your fingers, and I'll talk to you guys later today. All right, well, we just had the qualifier number two here. It's Saturday, middle of the day. We were running really good. All right, great numbers. It, uh, it really kind of moved off to the right a little bit out of the groove and was trying to run real good. Tobler had saw the runs in front of us, Hagen's 02 in front of us, and uh, went back and made some changes. And that's what's great about having a crew chief like that. He's not, he's not content until he knows that we can run better than anybody else or run as good as everybody else. So we'll... Uh, We'll sort of take that and he knows that it's a little bit too much for that that time and those conditions and and the way the track was but now you can kind of throw everything out because this next run tonight is going to be for the final round in brandon for the trophy it's also going to count for, towards qualifying but uh that's kind of not where we're, we're ahead our heads are get the trophy from brandon that's what we're going to go up and try to do so uh, hopefully next time i talk to you will be uh, there'll be a wally standing right here and i can start shooting my vine videos again Ready to rock. And your Brainerd Funny Car winner is Ron Cash. 4026, 320 miles an hour. John Force goes 412, 313. Yeah! Five, three. One, two, three. Man, uh, maybe all you guys are good luck. Maybe this is something we gotta do at every race, but. Here's a little man. How about that, huh? It's been two weeks coming, but uh, we got another uh, another Brainerd Wally, and this is three years in a row that this team's wanted. So pretty cool. We got the car in the winter circle. Uh, we may not be in Brainerd, but I know everybody back in Brainerd is cheering. And this thing, I already told them on TV, this is going to every Napa store, kind of like the Stanley Cup trophy. I'm gonna let it go to everyone. Let the fans go play with this thing, and have some fun with it, and then it's gonna go to the Jed and Christy up in Brainerd that own that track and let them put it in something and put it out in the zoo because this is where it belongs. And uh, so what a weekend so far. We're only in it Saturday night. We've already got one of the wins. Uh, big day tomorrow with the track to shoot out. Early day, we're gonna have autographs in the morning and then we gotta get ready for noon. And high noon, we're gonna have Courtney Forrest first round and uh, see what happens. Hopefully the weather holds off. But uh, so far, so good, man. I'm glad you guys have come along for the ride. We'll see you in the morning.